Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for watching Police Tube's far removed uncle. So far that I don't even ever talk to Police Tube, never even heard of him. But what I have heard of is this Jeremy DeWitt character. And you guys know the case that was going on between Jeremy DeWitt and his landlord, Tony Constantini. Jeremy DeWitt basically scammed his landlord and took advantage of him, signed contracts that he never intended to live up to, put fake DMV paperwork on his trucks or whatnot. Well, anyway, I want to alert you guys today that Tony has finally got his retribution on Jeremy today. A little retribution, I guess. Tony was awarded um, some of Jeremy's assets. So uh, Tony is now the owner of Jeremy's tow truck and Jeremy's Tahoe. Those have been transferred over to Tony now, no longer Jeremy's, and that's because of an action that Tony took in order to kind of try to recoup some of his losses. Now, Tony has also been awarded Jeremy's pickup truck, and the news about that is when Tony tried to go over to Jeremy's mom's house to get his pickup truck, which now belongs to him, Jeremy's family refused to give it to Tony, and they basically told him to come back with a warrant, and they're continuing the abuse of Tony. But Tony is being persistent. He is following through on this. He does also still want the criminal and civil charges to be uh, filed and go through with Jeremy because Jeremy clearly committed crimes against Tony, even though the Orange County Sheriff's Office told uh, their detectives to shut down this investigation and not do anything for Tony Constantini. Those crimes still exist, and Tony's still hoping that something will come of that, although I have my doubts. But what we do know for sure is the finalization of this case in favor of Tony to where Tony now owns the Metro State Tahoe, the Metro State tow truck, and the uh, Jeremy's pickup truck, although he's still trying to take possession of that pickup and try to get through the interference that Jeremy's family is providing. Jeremy is in for some dire straits here. He's beginning to lose all hope. All he has now is his mother and Jennifer. And if I can tell you, if he loses Jennifer and he stops the contact with Jennifer and she loses interest in him, Jeremy's mental state could deteriorate rapidly. He can't survive with just talking to his mother and Rania. And with the news about these new civil charges that are being pressed against him by like uh, the insurance companies and uh, with the news about him losing this case against Tony and the news about him getting all these 10 more warrants issued against him for financial crimes, which, by the way, I'm going to make another video on because there's more warrants coming. This is not it. But anyway, with all that stuff, Jeremy is becoming hopeless. So right now, while he's in jail, he's starting to contemplate his future and realizing that he's not getting out of jail. In fact, he's going back to prison and he thought he was getting out soon, but now he's looks like he's not getting out anytime soon. So he is losing hope. He's becoming desperate. His attorney's not backing him. All he's got is Rania, who's not much of a help. He's got Jennifer who is being a help, but also a hindrance. And then he's got his mom who's just a bunch of talk. And she'll sit there and pacify him. That's basically what she's doing, sticking her boob in his mouth just to get him to shut up. But it's not really a help. So that's it. That's the news I got for you. Very interesting. I'm glad that Tony finally got a little bit of retribution for uh, Jeremy. But in the end, so far, all he's got is this old Tahoe and this old tow truck and the hopes of getting uh, the pickup truck. But, you know, all those cars are pretty trashed. Their wiring is all shot because Jeremy tore out all the wires and put in his own wires. And so you know how they are. You're just driving down the road and all of a sudden the hood opens and then the lights start flashing and air horns start beeping. And then the front bumper falls off and you run it over and it hits another car. And then you sue that other car for hitting you. And then you have your talking friend, send them a letter threatening to sue them for $20,000 if they don't give you $8,000 right now. In other words, these cars are not in good shape. And not to mention with Jeremy being gone for the last year, the cars haven't been maintained even more. Jeremy was never maintaining the cars in the first place. But with Jeremy in jail, they were actually being maintained less than they were when Jeremy was actually maintaining himself, which was not at all. So, you know, they're going to need all new hoses, all new belts. The interior is going to have to be replaced. The outside is going to have to be stripped and repainted. The engines are going to have to be replaced. 
the tires are shredded, the lights are out, the batteries are dead, the paint's coming off, and on the side of the truck it says Stow in Valor. I don't know, something like that. So Tony's got something at least. It's probably going to be more of an expense than an asset to him at this point. But anyway, that's the news. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these Jeremy DeWitt videos and finding out what's going on here. Stay tuned because we're going to keep you updated on all the Jeremy DeWitt news right here on Police Tube's Far Removed Uncle. So far removed, I don't even know who he is. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, make sure you have yourself a great day.